Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Age of Wonders 3. Got a hero upgrade to do, uh, Frostling Warlord. Um, I noticed, yeah, the unit is unhappy with the leader's alignment. I don't know if that's because I've become slightly good, or if she's... Uh, dedicated to evil or something like that? Dedicated to neutral, okay. So once I get back to neutral, uh, she should be fine. And I have a plan of doing that by going over to attack that orc, uh, town over to the right side. So, what do we have her set up as right now? I feel like it's as a melee character, but I could be wrong. Um... Let's see here. Field medic is always good. Yeah, I think that's going to be the one we go for. Uh, so everybody can heal up faster. I think that counts for her as well, but I could be wrong. Uh, oh, we're here. We're here, and this is the turn. Okay. Domain invasion. Who's invaded my domain? Is it because they expanded and these independents are here? I feel like it is. Oh, Wasta is moving the map around. I could swear it wasn't that way last time. Okay, we also have uh, scoundrels here and a quest over here. A bunch of undead units. Um, yeah, Frigette should be able to handle this. Control undead. Oh. No movement uh, to get over there. Okay, that should be okay. Uh, with us grouped together like this, um, we shouldn't have to worry too much about that. Unless they try to go up for the pony riders. Um, but I don't think these two armies will be able to make it all the way up there to attack them. Okay, so is this the turn, I say? No, because Koth's army cannot get any closer to the town. So you guys are going to have to hang out for a little bit. That's not even a full stack, sadly. Uh, let's see. Is this Binham? No. Tyrabur White Metal? Okay. Um, I'll bet he's... Oh, he's dedicated to neutral as well. Scales of Fortune. So, Frigette, are you dedicated to neutral? Yes. Okay, good. I was worried that he was a uh, necromancer and uh, was dedicated to evil, and I would never be able to be friends with him. Okay, you guys are going to stay there, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Target City gains a 20 production bonus. Doesn't affect vassals. Okay, they're coming at me, bro. They're coming right for us. We should be okay. As long as Bridget isn't way too far away behind us. She is pretty far away behind us, though. Those cadavers don't have a very long uh, movement range. Okay. Uh, engineers, don't we have musketeers around? We do. It's strange that they don't group them up a little bit better. Alright. We should be uh, pretty okay right here. Uh, Binham, do you have anything that could help us out here? I don't think these guys can be intimidated very easily. No, not at all as a matter of fact. Uh, we could instill Lion's Courage, plus five strength, overwhelm, and strong will. That's always pretty good. Uh, until the end of combat, okay. First strike and the full arm ability. We don't, we're not fighting against any mounted units, so I don't think pull arm is going to help us much. 
8 frost. Stiffen limbs might not be a bad idea. Let's see. There was one archer unit too, wasn't there? So a blinding spell on them wouldn't hurt anything. I just don't know if Koth should be casting from across the map because we're about to attack that orc town also. So, uh, for Jet, how about you stiffen the archer's limbs instead? Never mind. They can't be affected? Units with stiffened limbs. Oh, okay. Non-undead and non-machine. That's a little bit sad. I was hoping that it would hurt them. And my uh, death ray doesn't even do that much because of their blight and frost protection. I guess we go on the archers here. Just to get something done. If I'm not mistaken, they all have uh, missile resistance too, which is a little unfortunate. Okay, so they can make it to the Eagle. They can make it to Binham. They can't. If they can make it to here, then that means the Jester would be in reach if he moves up one. Not comfortable with that, but we have little choice. 56% dazzled. Okay, we did dazzle these guys on the edge though, so that's pretty valuable. Does this have a range to it, or does it have to be uh, at touch? Yeah, it cannot reach. I think that's a touch range spell. Cannot be affected. So if we come up here to uh, protect the Jesters, it's pretty dangerous. We could at least keep them from being flanked. Man, she's not doing much. I can't decide uh, what gender it is for Jet. I kind of want to say that it's a female, but you never know with these. Okay, we have the nourishing meal, so we can heal if we take too much damage on this first round here. Uh, the farmer's coming up with his chicken throwing abilities. Binham. I'd actually rather him not get into combat on his first round. And in fact, I wouldn't mind if he could have to run up uh, to attack enemies. So if we bring him back a couple of paces. The first strike ability is pretty powerful, though. Overwhelm. Uh, overwhelm is good against... Shielded enemies, if I remember right. Okay, they can get up to here. If we come around to this side, let's see. Could move up to here, but then they have cover and we're out of range. We're not going to be able to get uh, a much better shot than this, to be completely honest. And this gives us three, three triggers. We could come over to here. It's still range penalty, but that's a lot of damage. Beautiful, beautiful. That was really good, actually. Okay, so they can't be reached. Uh, these guys over here are the only ones who can be attacked. The Jester and uh, the Eagle Rider and Forget the Frozen. Can they pounce? No, but they can web, which is pretty awesome. What's it say? Incorporeal units? Okay, that's fine. These guys will still be able to be affected by this. <laughs> Um, and the wyvern could actually come around here, get in position for a flank, or at least to attack the archers. 
who aren't going to have very good shots. They'll probably be taking a range penalty and only be able to shoot once or maybe twice on the next round. Uh, the Musketeers will be in a pretty good position next round, though. So we're doing alright. Go for the Jesters. Yep. Go for the Jesters as well. Okay. Oh, there's a table in front of them. I didn't even notice that. It's pretty invaluable. Jesters. Ouch. You guys better survive, I tell you what. Okay, can the Wyvern get in here? Yes, we can. I feel like getting in behind him is going to be the most important thing to do. I don't know if this is going to be a flank on this side, actually. I feel like they're facing this way, so this is technically behind them. We're going in for the kill. It is a flank. Beautiful. So, this would not be a flank. Yeah, it will. This will still be a flank. Let's go for it. Yeah. Nice and dead. Just the way I like them. Okay, they're in range now. Uh, we can't help but kill them with this attack. I might have been better off trying to kill uh, a full health enemy, to be completely honest. So that might have been a little bit of a waste. We'll see how it goes, though. All right, how does the chicken fare? 13. Let's move on up here and throw this chicken at these guys. Projectile resistance. I thought they were facing... Oh, they're on They're on defense right now. Okay, this is a flank, though, on these guys. So let's use that. Nice, nice. Uh, these guys can't do an attack of opportunity, and they don't get any retaliation either. So I'm not too worried about them. Yeah, even even though we were engaged, now that we've turned them around, we have the opportunity to attack with a ranged weapon. Beautiful. So then the question becomes, do we nourishing meal um, our jesters? Because they're not going to be able to move. Forty-nine percent, sixty-three percent to control these guys. Or ten to sixteen spirit damage when resisted. Nice, we controlled them. Beautiful. Let's see, Binham. We can go with a war cry. Eighteen to twenty-eight. These guys are eighteen to twenty-eight. These guys. I say we go for them. Uh, this will block them off from the Jesters. It opens them up to a flanking attack from these guys, which isn't ideal. <laughs> Cadavers won't be able to make it up. So right now we have uh, the Musketeers, which have to move up to get a good shot. Nineteen to twenty-nine. Nice critical. Oh, 40? Wow. Wow. Okay, we already did the war cry, though, so we have little choice. Let's go for the attack here. These guys are controlled. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, Can we get in position for a blunderbuss? I think from right here we can. It would be this square, this square. I think from right here we can pull it off. Yeah without injuring any of our guys. Nice. And then... We could finish him off, I'm pretty sure, with this uh, throw cleaver ability. But I want the Jester to be in good health. Before our next battle. That's so weird, the little bunny uh, jumping in there. Okay. Two to four only. They're not going to retaliate, and they have 37 health. They're already dazzled, so I don't think webbing them is going to be the way to go. Let's just try and attack. They're very likely to attack their friends here. And the cadaver. Uh, you can get up here, buddy, but you don't have much. Yeah, 
Yeah, not much. Oh, they can attack. Six to ten. Come on, please. Nice. That was lucky. I didn't realize that they had a move. Okay, so they attacked us and lost. Uh, we get the reward of a halfling eagle rider, which is pretty beautiful. Uh, they're very powerful units, so that's excellent. Okay, so uh, this frost wyvern is going to go back to scouting. Let's see. Let's see where these guys went. These scoundrels. Okay, we've got some haste berries here. Okay, they're all the way down here. So. Let's go flying out over the water so that the scoundrels can't get to us. Some kind of mermaids? It is a mermaid. And what is she guarding? Oyster reef, gold, and population bonuses. Okay, kind of like to see what this is as well. Raging Maelstrom. Bonus to production. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but that's okay. Alright, so he was moved out of there. Uh, let's move the army out of here. So they are one now. Um, I could do with getting the farmer and the brew brother elsewhere. Uh, this, this guy can head up north. And honestly, we could join these pony riders. It probably is faster to go out and around, but I don't listen to reason. I guess we should go free up this uh, gold mine for our city here so that we can... Yeah, get some bonuses from that. So let's head up there with Binham. He can be on that trail. Uh, these guys are fine. We need another skill to research. We're already almost at our mana cap again. Okay, all irregular units gain uh, sabotage. City absorption is cut by 50%. Let's do that. Uh, we want our capital to gain this bonus here. Let's reinforce that spell as well. Um, not yet. Not yet. Because uh, we're about to do this battle here. So I want him to have some... Some ability to uh, magic in combat. Oh good. They don't even have walls or anything. They do have horsemen, which is a little troubling. Of course, we do too, so it's not that big of a deal, but... Oh, we have... Are these farmers or adventurers? Okay, so they're not going to uh, try anything. Longswords. Uh, engineers. We're not quite close enough to do anything here. Okay, so spearmen. They can throw spears, right? Yeah. They have a pretty good range, too. But I feel like they're going to be at a range penalty wherever they go. Okay, two spearmen, a uh, knight, and a greatsword. Okay. If we get up behind here, they'll be able to throw at us. Um, is that 10 damage? But um, we're going to get cover, so they'll have to have a penalty, I'm pretty sure. Now yeah, let's move up at least. Um, let's see, the farmers also. up there. I don't think he'll be able to shoot at us from over here. Let's 
It's hard to tell, though. It's hard to judge their range sometime. Um, yeah, I think that's about all we can do. I could try to uh, flashbang. Let's see if any of them are susceptible to Berserk. The Spearmen, somewhat. Uh, these guys will be the most likely to attack my my guys here. Hang on a second. Oh, I'll bet they can attack without a uh, line of sight penalty. So let's try them instead. Resist. Minus seven movement though, so that's worth it in the long run. Yeah, they tried. Very strange uh, sort of movement there, but it's fine. Okay, so they get the... Oh, they have shields. We don't have a line of sight penalty, though. Man. We might be able to kill them right here. Beautiful. Beautiful job, guys. Holy cow. Okay, they can reach these guys, so that is worrisome. Uh, we can protect them, though. Oh, no. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think about that hard enough. I should have put them on this side and brought them up on this side. It was an obvious decision, but I failed. Failed miserably. Uh... We might be able to bring Kothfotmiu up here. Melee strike of 13. So if we put Koth right here, they would get a maximum of two strikes, being 26 damage. We can tank that pretty easily. I don't think we'll have a line of sight penalty for this. It is still a range penalty though, sadly. Ah, resisted the immolation as well. We did get some decent damage done to them though. Okay, they can fill in these two spaces, so unless we can hit them from here, I'm not going to worry about it with the gestures. We wouldn't be able to hit them even if we moved all the way up, so um, that's fine. Oh, we can already hit them? 30% chance we reduce their movement. It's worth it. Critical as well. Poor. Throw chicken resisted, though. They can go around to here. So they'll be able to throw a javelin at us uh, from here, but I think we'll be able to hit them. Yeah, it's a line of sight penalty. Which I can only assume is from this, but I I guess it's because they have to have a direct shot. Still a 50% to dazzle. Oh, they resisted. Well, wow. they have pretty good resistance, I'd say. Uh, do we have anyone more hefty to put in front? Not really. We can almost get in front. Yeah, they're close enough to be attacked, though. And, um... If they try to move just into here, it's still a range penalty to hit the Jesters, so... I imagine that they're gonna go for the Long Swordsman. What kind of a range do we have on this? Not quite. Oh, we can sprint as well? I didn't remember that. Let's come over to the side, though. I think this is about all we can do right now. Alright, they are... Looks like going for the Jester. That's a really curious decision, but... Oh, wow. I didn't think about their charge ability. Yeah, the Greatswords are... lured by the Bloodshed. Wow, that's pretty serious damage there. Uh, they've already leveled up, so let's give this to somebody else. 40% dazzled. Uh, 
But yeah, pretty good damage against him here. What's that, 14 to 22? So we won't kill him, but uh... Resisted by Koth, that's good. Pony Riders, how are you feeling about a charge here? Nice. Glorious. Um, alright. Okay, we don't, we're not at a range penalty. There isn't a range penalty. If they're in range, they're in range. Let's go for it then. Nice. Dazzled. Uh, Long Swordsman could come in and finish these guys, most likely. Beautiful. Oh, only once per battle? That's interesting. Till the end of turn. Alright, which way are they facing though? It looks like they're facing down. So if we come up like this, it should be a flanking attack. It was. My other ponies have already moved. Um, my hero? Can't quite reach them. Does she have... She does have a crossbow. 11 to 17. It doesn't say we're flanking them either. Oh, because they're guarded. How do I not see that every time? Okay. Engineers. Can you finish this off with a bang? Beautiful. Boy, Koth uh, had a close one there, to say the least. Okay, city awaits its fate. We have to find an evil thing to do here. Minus 100 alignment. Minus 150. Okay, that reduces... race happiness. So this will render city upgrades useless. Oh, they have a builder's hall and a siege workshop, so I don't know that I want to do that. Plus 50 alignment we don't want. Population shrinks to outposts, but I don't think that's going to affect the um, other stuff. We don't want to completely destroy the city. So let's mer uh, migrate to halflings, I think. Yes. Okay, are we neutral again? No. It hasn't taken effect yet, though. So that's something to consider. Okay. An item has arrived. Sneaky bandit's dagger to Norcia. That's good. Dravester. Uh, yeah. Not right now. Yeah, because if we... Let's see. Bought favor with independent, showed mercy to guards. If we absorb the city, yeah, plus 25 alignment right there, it says. So we don't want to do that right now. We need to... Uh... Yeah, that's still the same, same thing. Okay, now we can reinforce it. That's fine. Scales of fortune. We might want to reinforce this later on. Um, just because. What are they producing, by the way? Oh, the Master's Guild? Let's hurry that up. We'll probably hurry up the Eagle's Nest, too, but... Um, a party robot? Are you kidding me? Is that the halfling version of a golem? They have Nourishing Meal ability. Yes. We need a couple of party robots to 
follow us around, that's for sure. Uh, I think I needed another musketeer as well, because don't we have an army that has an engineer without a musketeer? No, we don't. No, we do not. Unless it was, uh, where is she? Yeah, this one. So we do. All right. You guys can start heading back home then. Uh, Koth, I think we need to hang out here uh, just in case there's a revolt or something. And... Yeah, camp up for a little while. Binham. Oh, you have one movement point where you can go here. That's fine. Okay. Let's head up this direction once again. Do we want to bring them along? I think with just three Tigrans, I think this is an army that can handle three Tigrans pretty okay. Uh, so let's take these scoundrels on. It's very likely. I still don't want to get cheated out of an, uh, an unit. I can't imagine that we would be, but... My imagination and the game's mechanics can differ in opinion sometimes. <coughs> Bam! Eight damage to my brew brothers. Ouch. Okay. I didn't notice if we all resisted the crippling wounds. It looks like we may have. Okay. Dread spider, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, beautiful. I thought it hadn't worked there for a second. I was going to be so upset. Flanking? Oh yeah, because they're uh, tied up all attacks on them for flanking attacks. So there we go. Cadaver, you're never around where I need you. Uh, farmer... Let's see, what is their movement range? They have pretty good range, actually. Right, let's move up here so that they can't get behind me. And we will throw a chicken at them. Beautiful. Uh, Brew Brothers, let's hang on for a second. We could throw a curse at these guys, too. 65% chance. Let's move up one first. Oh, come on now. That's not fair. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's run up over here, see what we can do. We're not close enough to anybody to throw cleavers, and nobody needs healing yet. Okay. Cadaver, you haven't done anything? Let's see what they try. Oh, no! Ow! Two flanking crossbows there. Okay, we've got 11 to 17, and they're not going to retaliate either because it's a flank. Okay, we should be able to smite these fools. Nice level up there. Um, oh wow, they're really upset. Okay, I think they're um, evil, if I'm not, yeah, dedicated to evil, because they weren't spawned at my city. So that causes problems, I'd say. Uh, Cadaver, you guys could probably flank these fools. Uh, for two attacks, they will retaliate. But we should be able to kill them. Nice. Beautiful. Um, I don't think we can heal undead. Oh, they can be healed, but are unaffected by the morale bonus. Oh, we have to be really close for the cleavers. Let's go ahead and do the heal. Okay. That's pretty invaluable. 
Can we come up behind them for a charge? We could try and seduce them as well. 65% chance. Let's come up here. And we can at least turn them around. Ooh. Never mind. We got them. Man, Frigette is the uh, capturer of enemies. That's for sure. She can't help herself, but, uh... Capture enemies. Let's see. Okay, they're not dedicated to anything. Crippling wounds. Sabotage. Light crossbow. So they're a pretty de uh, decent unit, as a matter of fact. Okay, I haven't noticed anything down here that needs to be checked out. Have we met this... Uh, city yet? I feel like this would be trespassing, and I feel like they would be mad about that. But I can't see them unless I enter their territory. Oh, here we go. Sign a peace treaty. This is going to improve my alignment, too. Okay, let us know when you're ready to talk, though. And... Let's take a look at this. What is this? A forbidden sanctum? Oh, it's legendary, though. I don't know if we're quite ready for that. With this army. Vanillin? For 98 gold, holy cow. At the cost of our relation, trusting. I would rather be a uh, cost to my alignment, so let's just not worry about that. Nurhester Shireshoss has uh, done well. Let's see. It probably would be a good idea to have some kind of a uh, defensive units here. Yeah, the fire spit from these guys is pretty good. Let's do like that, and then we'll work on, uh... Well, no, no, no. Let's wait and get them after the shooting grounds. Oh, these are irregulars? Those are archers? Just get three of them, then. Uh, then a siege workshop, I think. Okay, and... Let's see, yeah. We can continue to head back to the base. That should be good. Binham. Oh, because y'all can move backwards, you think that you have more moves? Let's head across this direction. Oh. Yeah, we don't want to go that way. Let's go this direction first. Oh, here's a bit of mana. Take that, please, and thanks. An apprentice, a high elf apprentice, a wisp, and a shock serpent. We're no match for that lot, but we might as well scout out the area. Is there a gold stash here? No, just a mine. Hall of the Forefathers, legendary. Okay. Oh yeah, these guys. What are we gonna do with them? Uh, let's see, this guy is waiting on an army. They need a... Uh, Musketeer, but then we could put in a pony rider probably in addition. So that wouldn't be too bad. Um, should we explore a little bit more of this southern territory? Possibly. Oh, they can move back onto the road, so they think they need a turn. Wacklar? Oh, good, good, good. Um, yeah, the storehouse, I think, is pretty important. Grow our population.
Um, then we'll need defenders. Adventurers have slingshots. Okay, that one. Uh, the laboratory will be shortly after that, but... You know what? Let's go with the Master's Guild, and then, so once uh, this one's done, I'll just try and speed this one along. Let's do a quick search of the area. Let's see what lay nearby. I should have gone around it over to here, uh, taken a quick peek, and then moved back over it to go up north here. That would have been the ideal situation. But I'm a bit foolish, you might say. A bit. I'd love to have possession of this uh, tower here. Alright, go ahead and take to the center of the city. We should have that sped up. The scales of fortune. Let's see, can we do like half? Yeah, that'll work. Um, so we could take a pony rider and put it in here, I think. And these other two uh, will come into here. So those are all mounted units. We're going to need three more, guys. Uh, these two, maybe, could go in here for a time. And then I'll take them over to Koth uh with this army and swap them out so that Koth has the party robots in his army. All right, guys. Okay, we're going to head north here. And I can't believe how many turns it takes to get up um, to there. Three more turns. There aren't any haste berries along the way. There's this batch. Maybe we move there for two turns. Is there gold here? It looks like there is. I think there was also uh, an independent army there, so we may take them out and then come down through this hole and take them out. I need to send a flyer around this side to explore this as well. We've just about got this corner of the map explored, so this might be a good opportunity. Start sending this guy north. Okay. Y'all can wait for the musketeer who isn't even next, but that's okay. So I wonder why when I sped this up uh, the time it should take for these guys went up to two instead of one turns. I don't know if I was imagining that or if that's exactly what happened, but that's what it looked like happened on my screen. What do these melons do? I think they bring happiness or something like that. What is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, these are haste berries, but they've already been eaten. Recharge in one turn. Let's come over here. Well, no, that doesn't make any sense because next turn... Next turn we'll have our full speed anyway. Uh, you guys can head up to this army. That should be perfectly fine. We'll need to wipe these guys out pretty soon. They joined the Empire for a mere 200. But that alignment modifier because right now I'm at positive 175 still so until we find another enemy fortress that we could um, migrate I think we're gonna have to hold off on that or find some guards of some uh, point of interest that we can vanquish can they not pass this Oh no, it's uh, mountains. Okay, so this is about all they need to explore down here, I'd say. Where do they go from here? Don't ask me. I'm just the, the boss. Okay, I think this is going to be it for this episode, though. So if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. 
and feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.